Hey everybody, this is Brian at Obedia, and I'm going to show you a quick tip in Pro Tools uh, for finding and relinking missing files. Sometimes you'll open up your Pro Tools session and you'll get this message, you'll get the missing files dialog box. And uh, Pro Tools will tell you how many files are missing and what types, things like that. And then it'll give you some various options. You can skip trying to find them, you can manually find them, or you can automatically find and relink them. Uh, you'll also find these two options for regenerate missing fades without searching and regenerate missing render files without searching. So you can do these as well if you want. This will, uh, obviously, as it says, it will regenerate uh, these missing files uh, from your Pro Tools session. In this case, I'm not really uh, looking for either of those kinds of files, but I can enable it if I want. Uh, I'm looking for an audio file. So I'm going to go ahead and select automatically find and relink, and I'm going to hit OK. So now Pro Tools is going to take a minute in the background. It's going to be searching around looking for files on my hard drive and the task manager will pop up and the task manager is going to tell me exactly what uh, it did or did not find. So in this case, it says that it could not find the file and it says to double click on the icon to open the relinking window. So I can double click on the relinking and I can close the task manager. And now I've got the relink dialog box and I'll give myself a little room to work with here. So now Pro Tools is going to tell me what files I want. It's going to ask me what files I want to relink. And then it's going to ask me to search on my hard drives for them. So uh, you can select multiple hard drives if you want. Um, as you can see, I'm just putting a check mark next to the hard drives. This can take a while, obviously. Sometimes it's going to be easier to look for the file uh, in a space on your hard drive that you're pretty sure you were saving it, which typically is going to be in the audio files folder for your session. So I'm going to expand my C drive and I'm going to scroll down and you can get kind of a hint here by taking a look at the location that Pro Tools shows you for this file. And you can see it's telling me that uh, originally it thought it was in my users directory, in my documents, in a Pro Tools folder and things like that. So I might have moved some things around and things like that many things can happen when you're working on your hard drive so I'm gonna take that as a little bit of a hint I'm gonna open up my users folder I'm gonna go into my own user folder and I'm gonna open my documents and then I'm gonna scroll down and I wanna find my Pro Tools folder so now in my Pro Tools folder I'm gonna look for the session that matches the session that I'm currently working on and I'm gonna look into the audio files folder I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and lo and behold, there's the file that I'm looking for. There's communication drums.l.wave. Now that I've found the audio file that I'm looking for, I can select which files to relink and I can click find all candidates. So now Pro Tools looks in this folder that I selected and it finds the candidate that I found right here. Now I'm going to click on this relinking icon right here. This is going to link these two files and now this button that says commit links is going to come to life. Now if I click on this, Pro Tools is going to ask me if I would like to commit these links and I'm going to say yes. So now that file has been linked up. My new file is now linked up to the location in my Pro Tools session. If I go back into my Pro Tools session, I'm good to go. This is how you can find uh, missing files using the Pro Tools interface. If you absolutely don't have any luck using the Pro Tools interface, you can search through your operating system's uh, interface, and that sometimes means that you're going to be looking for files that may have been moved to entirely different drives, different locations, things like that. But using the built-in Pro Tools system, you can usually find the files that you're looking for, and often the automatically feature will work as well. I hope that this has been useful to you guys. As always, please stay in touch with me at brian at obedia.com or on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obedia tutor. And until next time, take care and happy music making to you. Hey, hey, hey.